Okay, so you can see here in the shadow area, it's very, very dark. But if I put my hand in here, see how I lighten this up? So we're going to use some cards here, some fill cards to lighten this up. We can place these fill cards just right. You won't see the shadow change much because the shadow is kind of dramatic and cool. What we have here is we have a very sharp shadow transition. Do you see this? Very sharp tra shadow transition that defines hard light. You can see the hard light striking here, real sharp shadow transition here and here. And that defines the very hard light. Here's the two cards we're going to use to fill it in a little bit in front. Now watch as we bring these in. And by moving these around, changing the height of them, we can do all kinds of things to the image, but we do not change the shadow transfer area. It is still sharp. We filled in our contrast and made a much more attractive photograph, but it is still a sharp shadow transfer. Show. So, what we need to do at this point is to figure out, do we like this? I personally like hard light and use it a lot. So, it, it sculpts uh, the different areas. You can see how it sculpts um, right in here really shows off these two gourds to, uh, to advantage. We can use our fill cards to one side as well just to do something kind of fun with it here. Because this shadow transfer right here where it goes from the shadow to the light is sharp and will always stay sharp no matter what we do with these cards. Well here you can see I've taken a diffuser from a 5-in-1 and I've placed it between the sun. I'm going to come in here very carefully and put the camera down right here. And you can see how the image has a much more softer light. There's n almost no shadow to the foreground at all. But you can see my hand creates a negative shadow because the gourd is reflecting my dark hand. So even taking white cards into the image will still add quite a bit to the shape of it. You can notice right in here, see how the card comes in? out, in, and over here. Maybe we wanted to lighten this side up over here. We can bring the card in nice and tight or take it out, in, out, up in front. So it's very, very simple to do a real easy still life using uh, either hard light and cards, or if you want, or the 5-in-1 diffusion panel. So that's my little video for, for today.